Hey, today I'm gonna walk you through a roof repair slash roof plywood decking repair. This is a three-story building where the leak was coming in on the first floor. So we had to chase it. We did some repairs on the second story, on a scupper, and then finally, I'm gonna show you where we actually found the leak coming in from. Let's go check it out. Here we are on the third floor. The leak was actually coming between the siding and these uh, cinder blocks. It was on the second story right over there. So the first thing we did is take care of uh, the union, the joint between the siding and the cinder block here leaked again. So then we thought it was a scupper and the water was being chased down. That didn't work. And finally we got up on the roof up here and we discovered that this is where the leak was coming in from actually this corner right here so what we're doing today is doing shingle repair and as you can see it was starting from the third floor it was being soaked up and it was actually traveling down to the first floor here we go as you can see there's the uh, decking repair we are replacing it with cdx fasten it down with uh, framing nails and there's a completed job the next step is to install the ice and water shield so right here, what we're doing is we're actually doing this a little bit different. This underlayment is supposed to go on top of the drip edge, but because of what's been happening, we're going to go ahead and use an ice and water self-sealing membrane. We're going to go ahead and put it underneath the drip edge, but we're going to let it hang. The fascia is actually a hardy cement, so it's going to be able to, to take the weathering, right? Because it's, it's not wood, it won't soak it up. So here in this area, we're going to put it underneath. It's not what you're supposed to do traditionally, but because of how the building was built and how it is and the structure, that's exactly how we're going to go ahead and do this repair here. So in my opinion, this repair is actually a builder issue. It is, as you can see, the actual decking, the plywood here is above where it should be above two inches so when they built this the rafters were not built straight and or the property shifted i don't know what happened however what we're going to do is we're going to install the ice and water shield and we're going to let it overhang all the way down to the fascia and then we're going to install that perimeter uh, drip edge right here i'm going to go ahead and install it we'll show you that a little bit later and right here, we're just gonna run the ice and water over and waterproof this as much as possible so we don't get any wind-driven rain that gets here and then travel down to the first floor. All right, there it is, waterproofed. You can see how we laid the underlayment come over. And if any water does get in, it'll go underneath and down. And then over on this side, the same deal. Next step in the process is to install the new shingles. And what we're using today is the Owens Corning 3 tab Shasta White to match the existing. All right, there she is, almost done. Everything is sealed off. The transition, putting in the last shingle right over there. Everything nice and waterproofed. Hey, so the purpose of this video was really to show you that sometimes where roof leaks are, they are not. So on this one, the actual point of entry was on the first level, but it was coming in from the third uh, story. So on this one, what we had to do is remove the shingles, remove the decking, replace it, put ice and water shield, improvise just because of the construction of this roof, put everything back together and then waterproof it and seal the perimeter. Hope you learned something today. Like always, if you have something to say, drop a comment below. If you're in San Antonio and you need a roof repair done or replacement, give us a shout. We'll talk to you soon.